हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इकोसिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ इकोसिस्टम्स सिग्निफिकेंस थ्रेड्स एंड लास्टली प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक एन इको सिस्टम सर्व एज बोथ अ स्ट्रक्चुरल एंड फंक्शनल एंटिटी विद इन इकोलॉजी फेसिलिटेटिंग इंटरक्शन अमंग लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम एंड देयर सराउंडिंग एनवायरमेंट एसेंशियली इट रिप्रेजेंट अ डायनामिक नेटवर्क ऑफ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड देयर इकोलॉजिकल सराउंडिंग्स द टर्म इको सिस्टम ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम ए जी टांसले एंड इंग्लिश बॉटनिस्ट who introduced it in 1935 to describe this intricate web of interactions now moving on to types of ecosystems ecologists classify ecosystems into various types based on their location or environmental characteristics such as terrestrial or aquatic ecosystems additionally ecosystems can be categorized based on their energy usage aquatic ecosystem and terrestrial ecosystem first is aquatic ecosystem aquatic biomes encompass a variety of water bodies such as lakes rivers seas oceans and more covering the majority of the earth surface oceans seas intertidal zones reefs the sea floor and rock pools collectively constitute about 2/3 of the planet's surface area these ecosystems harbor a diverse array of life forms including plants fish amphibians coral reefs large marine mammals and insects there are two main types of aquatic ecosystems marine ecosystems marine ecosystems are characterized by high concentrations of dissolved salt salt they include the deep ocean open ocean and coastal marine environments each exhibiting unique biological and physical characteristics key abiotic factors influencing marine ecosystems include sunlight exposure oxygen and nutrient levels in the water distance from land depth and temperature marine ecosystems boast distinct biotic and abiotic elements fresh water ecosystems fresh water ecosystems have lower salt levels making them conducive to a wide variety of plant and animal life Fresh water habitats come in various sizes from small ponds to vast rivers. The flow patterns within fresh water environments differ. Some like rivers are constantly moving while others like ponds are tranquil. The primary divisions within fresh water ecosystems are based on location. Lotic. Lotic fresh water ecosystems feature water bodies flowing in one direction such as rivers and streams. originating from mountains or lakes and flowing towards their end points lentic these encompass all still that is non flowing water bodies including lakes ponds marshes bogs and lagoons they retain water on the earth surface due to soil saturation below the surface maintaining calm waters lentic systems contain various biological zones leading to diverse adaptations and behaviors among resident plants and animals wetlands Wetlands are areas where water meets the land fostering the growth of vascular plants. Common types of wetlands include marshes, swamps and bogs. Wetlands are highly productive environments due to the close proximity of soil and water. Hydrophytic plant species adapted to moist conditions thrive in wetlands with examples including cattails, pond lilies and sedges. Wetlands provide habitats for numerous amphibians, reptiles, birds, crustaceans, mollusks and other organisms. Next is terrestrial ecosystems comprise various environments characterized by land-based habitats. First is forest. Forest ecosystems are defined by dense tree cover forming multiple canopy layers. They harbor a rich diversity of plant and animal species. Forest including tropical rainforest, plantation forest and temperate deciduous forest support approximately 300 million different species. Grasslands. Grassland ecosystems typically feature arid climates with limited vegetation primarily consisting of various grass species. Herbs and grasses dominate the plant life in these environments. Grasslands play a crucial role in supporting diverse animal populations. Tundra. 
टुंड्रा इको सिस्टम एक्सपीरियंस हार्श एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशन सिमिलर टू पोलर रीजन कैरेक्टराइज बाय स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड्स स्नो कवर एंड एबसेंस ऑफ ट्रीज द सॉयल रिमेन्स परपैचुअली फ्रोजन परमा फ्रॉस्ट विद ओकेजनल स्नो मेल्ट क्रिएटिंग स्मॉल पॉन्ड्स टुंड्राज आर इनहेबिटेड बाय रेजिलियंट स्पीशीज इंक्लूडिंग लिचेंस एडेप्टेड टू एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन डेजर्ट्स डेजर्ट इको सिस्टम्स आर अमंग द ड्राइएस्ट एरियाज ऑन अर्थ कैरेक्टराइज बाय शार्प टेम्परेचर फ्लक्चुएशन एंड स्पार्स वेजिटेशन ड्यू टू इन फ्रीक्वेंट रेनफॉल डेजर्ट प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स हैव इवॉल्व टू विदस्टैंड द हार्श कंडीशन डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग रिमार्केबल एडेप्टेशन फॉर सर्वाइवल दीज टेरिस्ट्रियल इको सिस्टम्स ईच हैव यूनिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सपोर्टिंग डाइवर्स फ्लोरा एंड फोना एडेप्टेड टू देयर स्पेसिफिक एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशन Now let's discuss about importance of ecosystem. Ecosystems serve as habitats for diverse wild flora and fauna, fostering the development of intricate food chains and food webs. They play a crucial role in regulating essential ecological processes, ultimately contributing to the longevity of human life. Additionally, ecosystems actively participate in the recycling of nutrients between biotic and abiotic components. Now, lastly, moving on to threats to ecosystem. Pollution, whether from natural or artificial sources, can release toxic compounds and harmful chemicals into the environment, endangering the health of living organisms and degrading non-living elements. Overexploitation of natural resources, including overhunting, overfishing, overmining, and overlogging, has led to diminishing returns and ecosystem degradation. This has resulted in decreased community structures, population distributions and species breeding. Invasive species introduced into ecosystems through human or natural means can cause significant harm by outcompeting native species for resources and altering habitats. This can lead to the depletion of ecosystems and the eradication of species. Eutrophication characterized by an overabundance of chemical nutrients in water bodies promotes dense plant growth and algal blooms leading to oxygen depletion water quality deterioration and harm to aquatic life toxic algal blooms have particularly devastating effects on aquatic ecosystems reducing clean water availability and threatening aquatic life climate change and global warming pose additional threats to ecosystems by altering abiotic factors essential for biotic element survival Coral reefs, mountain regions and water cycles are among the ecosystems affected by climate change. Continued global warming could lead to the extinction of 10% of all species by 2050, highlighting the urgency of addressing these environmental challenges to preserve biodiversity and ensure global food production. Now is the time for practice questions, but while moving on to the practice question, We are delighted to announce you that on the occasion of Holi Team Drishti is offering discount up to 50% on all online pen drive courses test series books and DLP to avail this discount click on the link given in the description now moving on to practice questions first of all prelims based question why is there a great concern about the microbeads that are released into the environment They are considered harmful to marine ecosystems. They are considered to cause skin cancer in children. They are small enough to be absorbed by crop plants in irrigated fields or they are often found to be used as food adulterants. You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. And now mains practice question. Discuss the ecosystem and its functions like energy flow, nutrient cycle and ecological succession with adequate examples. So that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications